up next, it's a UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 147 pounds. Bam Bam! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! All right, get the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy who's a striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice straight punch. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the city octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. 
So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal. He's fighting, he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on them by blocking all these attacks. Slips the punch. Oh, big punch land. And both guys really throwing with authority. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. That's a good strike right there. Oh, collar tie. Just misses with the right. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Powerful leg kick land. Blocks the shot. Oh, big damaging moves here to the body. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Slips to avoid that left. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault. Staying technical, though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Big call from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so cool. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him drive the shit into the 
body with that body kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He blocks the punch. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And he landed the right hand there. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Right hand on point. Nice head kick. They continue to exchange. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Great punch. Huge block there. Look at him working at trying to set the little guy. Head kick, that's a miss. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Slips the shot. Look at the angle of that This fight's gonna be this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the force. He mixed it up. He went high with his point about he's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Swing and a big miss by Lee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has, has to be attacking that cut, John. If he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, no way. Spinning back fist. The combination, he knocks him down. on a guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, countering, it looks like with a bomb flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent, incredible. Submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture and get some damage off. Move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep.
All right, the action continues here and now as our next Ready? round gets underway. Ready? The previous round was so confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are one of the highest levels of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Nice leg kick lands. Nice punch by Lee. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. A good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Back to the feet now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice one, two there. What a body kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. Both fighters throwing heat now. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, Superman punch! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Whoa! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, is that a big knee the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, straight right. Just misses with the straight right. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. He blocks the shot. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice punch, man. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Man, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, 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 oh. Big knee to the body. Punch over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice, sneaky head kick. USA! 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 Big kick. USA! Lands the right hand. USA! Oh, a huge block there. Straight punch lands. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. 20 seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds remain in the round. 
All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Let's go, Frank. Nice. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's gonna go behind it. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So, oh, he hurt him. Nice, leg kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, that's a nice strike. He landed that inside leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Right hand landed. He's hurt bad. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big body kick. Straight punch landed with so much power. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. Just over three minutes to go. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body. Done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Spinning back fist. Straight right hand now just misses. Big punch lands through the middle. And he counters with a left hand. Two minutes now to go. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. It would serve him good to throw more of those. Throw him high to him. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. What a punch. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant punch. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore right. because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks have landed tonight. You see that left thigh starting to show signs of bruising. Nice loop of punch. Lee's 
His uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. And he's time to shot. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Got clipped with a right hand. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by me. Nice strike. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! Lee!